Welcome back to Let's Play Alan Wake 2. Today is uh, Thursday, November the 23rd, as I'm recording this. And I admit it completely slipped my mind when I was recording the last session, so it won't be on the videos for today. But uh, all the same, I hope any uh, American viewers had a happy Thanksgiving on this day. I wanted to show you guys something. Oh, specifically, I wanted to show you what happens every time I start the game. Okay, here is the, uh, the game screen. You know, game saving. Do not hit the button when you see this. Do not turn off your computer. As if anyone actually hard turns off their computer while they see that logo. Photo sensitivity warning. Oh yes, and then before the photo sensitivity warning actually leaves the screen, let me go frame by frame for this. Let's see, we get a couple frames of a figure standing in a doorway. A couple of frames of Alan, get extreme close up, back to the guy in the doorway. Then it cuts to this shot. Does it get any easier to see than that? Yes, it does. I'll leave it on that one. I'm looking at the d same desk in the same writing room that we look at on the main menu, except that there's the blurry image of Alan sitting behind the desk, and a figure standing on the extreme right of the image, with his hand hanging down into the frame, who is barely visible at all when this plays out in real time. That fast, every time. Practically uh, subliminal at that point. Weird. But now we're back here in Watery. I'm going to start things off by giving a shout out to Elthwar. I'm not sure those coffee cups found in the FBC test sites mean that there were agents there until very recently. This is the home of Coffee World, the most caffeinated place on Earth. I think the dark place is being made to manifest cups wherever people go because of the cult of the bean. Naturally, it's all dark roast. <laughs> I think Yornick's been rubbing off on people. <laughs> Let's see. I wanted to go back into the trailer park, because I think I'm still missing a piece of that investigation. You know, this is real, this is not real. And that's important! I'm gonna gain a, uh... Oh, that's the swing swinging. Okay, yes, the branches and the trees are moving. If there was no wind at all, it was going to be really weirded out by that. Hmm. I guess it's a small town thing, but I was actually kind of surprised to see that people here bother to recycle. Everyone except Saga, apparently, since there's just bottles everywhere. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh boy, ten. Was this one sitting by yourself? Because I'm not going to sit here and pretend I couldn't drink ten beers. I'm just thinking I probably wouldn't be alone if I were doing so. Probably with a bunch of other people who were getting equally shit faced. Okay, let me see. Right, can't look at anything there. And she turns the flashlight off and I actually interact with that. I'm not aiming at the house, I just wanted to zoom in a little. Well, that's weird. None of those are actually dolls. That's a giraffe, that's a moose, that's... That same goddamn chicken with boots model we've been seeing around. That's like a zebra. That's a car, and that's a plane. No people. What's this? There are post-its on the, uh, the globe, but there's nothing written on them. You'd think it'd be like notes about, I'm going to go here when I grow up. Uh, what do we have been looking at this? Maybe something in Saga's bedroom. Wouldn't it be funny if the uh, last piece of evidence was like, My God, this washer is the uh, 
energy-efficient type that runs on cold water. I would never use a cold water wash. This can't be real. Hmm. There are, uh... Good god. One, two, three... Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine beers in the bathroom. Ten, eleven, I was mistaken. Okay, let's not count the ones out in this main room, because there are kind of a fucking shitload of them, and that would really make me depressed. I mean, I'm not blaming her or anything. Her life fell apart, you know? What are you supposed to do? It's just sad to contemplate, is all. Who's been paying for this place? Uh, right, the pot chickens. I like the love of puns, the some of these specific events. It's all just mixed in with uh, with Saga's real life and the tales of the story. I'm pretty sure that's the same picture of Logan from... Wait, I can just check from the mind place. I kind of forgot that wasn't real, so I could just go there. Yep, that is 100% the same photo of uh, Logan. Wait a minute, I can't touch the deer again. Maybe I can only do that right after I touch one of them. Oh, right, yeah, I do that. I keep forgetting what that door does and I'm being reminded. The door that just also takes me out. Is there nothing on this side of the room at all? What book is that? Something about the water. How mm, uncomfortably on the nose. In more than one case. Hey! That is an old school alarm clock. With the little bells on the top and everything. Okay. Maybe not. Can I top this? No. Although I did close the door and I pressed A there, which is kind of funny. Hey, I know! I'll find the Anderson's trailer. Uh, the other Anderson's trailer. And, uh... Is this direction? Yes. Yes. You know, maybe there'll be a photo of, uh... Saga posing with Tor, since he's her grandfather. Another locked box. Oh, fuck! There's a stash right here. And a logo. You know, my good friend Ronan Drake believes that the significance of the uh, the cult logo is only that they inverted the Federal Bureau of Control logo as a fuck you. I don't know. I still think the, uh, the A stands out a bit. An A with a triangle on top of it. Oh, really? Just screwdriver? Not screwdriver. Trailer park key. I never figured out where the streamside stash they were talking about was. Unless I did use that and promptly forgot. That is also known to happen. Is that a TV? No, it's just a photo on the wall. Well, this door is locked, and it would... And uh, FBI agent or not, it would be wrong for me to, you know, just break in. these blue flowers. They're pretty vibrant for being in the middle of a bush. Wait. Oh, yeah. Actually, I forgot about something. She's trying to save the life of her daughter. The rules of God and man can go fuck themselves. Hey, look at that. They forgot to lock the door. And I think I heard a scream coming from in here, he said, dooming himself. Well, batteries make more sense than some of the things we've found. Oh, that isn't a... P okay, it's a computer. That's just the background. I mean, it really, really, really looks like it's painted on from this angle, but, uh... February! Something really re... Is that a blood stain? No. It's a wax stain. There's a wax-sealed envelope just here, but I can't interact with it. How odd! Uh, let's see, James, uh, from, please respond from James Johnson to Megan Johnson, 
uh, September 2nd, 2023, 1.32 a.m. Megan, just let me know you're okay, please. I miss you. I don't need to know where you are, just that you're okay. Just reply to me. You owe me that much. The keys. From Tony Tenenbaum to Fred Jones. Huh. Uh, August 29th, 2023, 6.51 p.m. Hey, I moved the keys somewhere. The flooding can't wash them away. The spot might be a bit harder to reach, but I'm sure you can get your hands on them just fine. Tony. Re-graphic novel idea. Is there a, uh... No, there isn't a first part for this. From... These are all two different people. Like, uh, addressed to two different people. Uh, Re-graphic novel idea from William Portman to Joel Skarsgård. Uh, August 27th, 2023, 1.31 p.m. Mr. Skarsgård, thank you for your proposal. Starlight Symphony sounds like a wonderful project and a very creative idea. However, our publishing house will unfortunately have to decline at this time. We wish you all the best in the future. Keep dreaming. Best regards, William Portman. So I really am just breaking into somebody's house. Can I turn on this TV and get a commercial? No. There's nothing particularly weird here. I mean, I found batteries in the drawer, not bullets, you know? Okay, the binoculars sitting directly on the windowsill might uh, suggest otherwise, now that I think about it, but, uh... I was actually about to say, I'm not, that's not, you know, actually a crime, but I'm not sure if voyeurism is a crime or not. You know, that rear window stuff where you just spy on your neighbors. Rubber boots and life jackets. Ah, must be. Oh, please, let me do the thing. Oh, must be a real fish. Otherwise, it totally have let me push the button to make the fish sing. The Snake in the Tall Grass by Eric Cruz. What do we got here? A bunch of names that's going to be very difficult to read. She Was Never Mine. Uh, abandoned. Nightmares. Taking Back the Dead. The Sun Shines on Us. Uh, I don't know what that last one says. Season 7 of something. Oh wait, the last one. I'm gonna step over here. Something Someone's Mysteries. Hmm. Kind of strange. North American Folklore. That book keeps turning up. Bunch of fishing equipment, bunch of books in a box. Another magazine that made me briefly think I was about to increase one of my stats. Scandinavian Scenery. The pie in the sky and is the moon. What? Ham radio enthusiast. Weird. Okay, yeah, this is a bust. I got nothing. I will, however, le uh, leave a calling card of uh, some pill containers on the floor. Mm. Anyway, <sighs> stop. There's nothing going on here, which I guess makes sense. I'm just going to close the door behind myself. Wait. No, no, can't open that. Oh, I see the reflection was what I thought was the A prompt. I don't think that animation made any sense, but... Okay. Hid the keys higher up. How do I get on top of this trailer? Oh. Oh. Aha! Look at that. It's not on top of the trailer, it's on top of this power box. The, uh, boards leaned up here to make a ramp were a bit, uh, obvious. What was that actually called? Trailer Park Stash Key. Key to the key Holt Stash at the Lighthouse Trailer Park in Watery. I wonder if naming this place after the lighthouse would protect it from, uh, the dark presence somehow. What do we have? The wood will swallow you whole. That's really cheery. Health, pa uh, health pad. Uh, oh, fuck. I can pick up another one of those, at least. But I can't get that. I guess I'll just leave that there. I hope no one steals it while I'm wandering off. I mean, technically I'm stealing it, but you know what I mean. Oh, there's a shoebox back there. That's right, I should look into that. First, I want to keep going. Hmm. Oh, I should probably put the rocket thing on there. You know, since I'm, it's not exactly going to be easy to go into my inventory when I'm being attacked by something that would require the, uh, the rocket flare. We 
have over here? Is this one labeled? Oh. Go visit Wendy Davis. Okay, I'm going to insert a jump cut here, and uh, I'm going to record the rest of this message. And, uh, you know, see if it plays a song at the end. And if it doesn't, then we can just listen to it uh, peacefully in my head, I guess. How about that? There, uh... There wasn't a song afterwards. And, uh, I'm actually sorry to be the one to share this with you, Burning Dog fans. But, uh, this is Gil's weird joke. You can pick up those crochet dog sweaters at the Sunday market. And while you're there, go visit Wendy Davis and grab some of our sponsor's famous beef jerky. Up next, we've got Deerfest. Oh, hold on now. We have, we have a call coming in. Which which button is, is that? Hello? Hello. Still here. Uh, wrong line. Oh, that didn't happen the first time. Uh, hello. Hello. You're on with Pat Main. Yeah. Gil Davis here. What, what a pleasant surprise. We have Gil Davis on the line from our lovely sponsor, Davis Family Beef Jerky. Gil, any thoughts on those crochet dog sweaters? You need to stop. Eh, what's that? Just stop. Whatever this is you're doing, stop. Well, I'm not sure I understand, Gil. There's no such thing as Davis family beef jerky. I don't sell beef jerky. I've never made beef jerky. I don't particularly like beef jerky. I'm getting crazy phone calls for jerky orders, day and night. You got confused old ladies all over this goddamn town on the hunt for imaginary beef jerky, asking for insane flavors like hickory teriyaki, which clearly isn't a thing. Uh, if you don't sell beef jerky, then somebody needs to tell your lovely wife, Wendy, because she's out there at the market every Sunday selling it. Wendy is dead, Pat. No, that's... that's that's not right. <laughs> I, I just saw Wendy at the, at the market last weekend. Wendy went missing 13 years ago, Pat. They found her body. She's dead. We're trying to make peace with that, and you're making it so much harder with all this goddamn beef jerky bullshit. No, that, that's, that's just not true. <laughs> She's there. Every weekend, I see her there. This joke's gone far enough. Now go get Wendy on the line so we can have a laugh about this. <laughs> She's fucking dead, Pat. Stop. Gil, uh, I, I, I think we're out of time. Uh, dog sweaters, Sunday market. And, uh, yeah, Pat Main signing off. I think we should take a break. Um, dog sweaters, Sunday market. Uh, uh, here's a song. What? That didn't happen the first time either. I mean, I could play the crappy quality recording for you. The first time I played through, Tapio wasn't on the line. It was just like four seconds of silence and, oh, wrong, wrong line. And then at the end it was just Pat Main signing off and he quickly hangs up. Or cuts it off, or whatever the term is. So, yeah. That sweet old man from the first game is... totally losing his mind. I mean, it happens. The guy's like 80 or 90 by now, but... That really sucks. What's this? Starlight Symphony. Oh, it's a comic book. In space, no one can hear you sing. What's this say? Starlight Symphony. Hair covering logo. Does hair do this in space? What is rocket connected to? Move foot out for better silhouette. Uh, in space, no one can hear you sing. Make text big. Maybe more eye-catching font choice. 
Oh, the rocket on oh, the, the jet pack she's wearing. What is rocket connected to? Since it's a sort of on her back as opposed to being strapped there. Comic book story idea. A literal space opera. A sci-fi musical with an alien love triangle. Murder mystery. Aliens meets rear window. Sunshine meets the sound of music. Good God, that sounds terrible. Uh, musical parts drawn in black and white. Negative colors. Singing is rhyming. Rhythm is visual. Break the fourth wall. Go all out. This is going to be my best work yet. There's also a bunch of broken glass or- oh no, I guess that's white paint all over the floor. Weird. Well, that was depressing. You know, truth be told, I was really hoping to find a, uh, a weapon or something in this episode, looking as I look through the trailer park. Because trailer park toys would be such a perfect title for that. I'm surprised I can't read that obvious journal there on the ground. Rocket flare. Oh no, that's... Wait. That's a crossbow bolt. Who the fuck has a crossbow bolt in a drawer in their kitchen? Wait a minute. Are those ketchup chips? I thought those were only in Canada. Huh. Can't tell. Can't see on top of it, because I'm not uh, If I, I can look down on it from above, but I can't point the flashlight at it. And see the top of it at the same time. Copy filters. Right. Um... Oh, this one has two doors. Fancy. Christ, maybe it's for the best that uh, Barry isn't in this one. Seems like everyone who was in the first game is suffering terribly. Rose went from being a crazy stalker to being just flat-out crazy. And, you know, she was pleasantly crazy before, not fucking prophesizing the deaths of children. What is reflecting over there? Hang on, that's... That's bureau equipment over there on the pier. How the hell do I get around there? Ooh, I can go in here. I think leaning on that side of the door would be the hardest way to open it, even if it was unlocked, but... Wait, is this the one I was just... Yes, this is the one I was just in. Embarrassing! So I guess the pier is... Fish clean. What? Please clean up after yourself. Oh, fish cleaning station is for tenant use only. Garbage only. Okay, okay. It's just a stainless steel uh, counter, sink. I mean, I guess you provide your own knives, and, but whatever. Fish cleaning. I guess that makes sense with the lake right there and there being a big focus on fishing in this town. Sure. What the hell? child doll. That is blatantly meant to be Logan with the hair like that. Or no, wait, I guess... No, I guess it doesn't hang down. Or maybe, maybe. Love that. Child doll. Clothespin doll representing a child. Boy, that is a big lake. I can see the mountains, but not the other side of the water, which is interesting. You know, when you're looking at Lake Ontario, it, uh, it really does feel like you're looking at the ocean, because you can't see anything on the other side, at least from the Toronto area.
More of those rhymes. Oh, Christ. Let's see what this is. By the way, I wanted to mention, I don't remember if I did before. Saga saying, uh, I should go back and get those dolls, and I tried uh, to go and fight those guys without it, is probably a, uh, an indicator that we are eventually going to run into nursery rhymes that require dolls we got from earlier puzzles. So that's going to be awesome. So suppose before I look at that rhyme, I should probably call it. I'm Burning Dog Face, and I'll see you on the next episode of Let's Play Alan Wake 2. When we continue this, uh, ominous investigation. And, uh, see what horrors we can unleash with this. Till then, stay in the light.